Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. Right, we're going through a fantastic little series of amazing British Indian restaurant classic dishes. Today we're on a lamb achari, one of my personal favourites. I love that pickle and I'm using a mango pickle. And I'm giving away loads of secrets and tips for you guys to enjoy the best curries at home. So if you follow what, I, what I'm doing, if you follow my tips and my techniques, you're going to get outstanding, mouth-watering, delicious food at home. If you enjoy what I do, make sure to press the like button and comment on the comment section. I love that interaction. I love that feedback. And if there's something that you like to see, put it on the comment section. I really appreciate that and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe press the bell icon so you get fantastic videos and you'll be the first to see it and hopefully cook the dish as well and you'll be blowing away all your friends and family because of that taste that I'm gonna show you so let's crack on with this amazing dish lamb achari So Bismillah, turn your gas on. We need some ghee. So I'm adding about a tablespoon of ghee. We're going to need a good teaspoon of ginger and garlic. Right, if you go through uh, the series, you'll see that ginger and garlic, and this is something different, something that you're probably not used to because it's got coriander, green pepper, green chilies, and so on. It's fantastic flavors. So let that heat up in the oil. About four tablespoons of Buna onions. This is essential. It's got lovely little cumin and amazing flavors of the onion. And it's still as it is, it's not broken away. So if it breaks away, all that flavor of the onion just goes. Whereas when I put the base gravy in, the onions are going to re release its flavors in the base gravy. So you're going to have to watch my Buna onion recipe and cook some amazing curries at home. So we just want that rawness of the ginger and garlic to go. And then we're going to go to the next process. The salt in the base gravy, so be careful. I'm adding about two pinches of salt. Be careful with this because we're going to add this amazing pickle. Now, this pickle is already salty, so you don't want to make the dish salty. So be very careful, as I said. Spice is going in now, guys. So, half a teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of curry powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of cumin powder, and a quarter teaspoon garam masala. And we don't want this to be too spicy, so a good pinch of chili powder. However, if you like at Madras strength, Add two teaspoons. If you like it vindaloo, add four teaspoons. But this is medium. And if you don't like it too spicy, just leave it out. So let that hit the oil. It just wakens up all the spices. One tablespoon of tomato puree. Again, this is no usual tomato puree. It's been flavored with loads of spices. Now lamb going in. There's enough for two portions here, guys. So we're boonering all the lamb together with all the spices, the onions. Wonderful. Now the lovely achar goes in. So I've got about four pieces of mango. This is fantastic flavors. And I'm also adding two wedge of tomato, pinch of kasuri methi. This brings a fantastic umami as well as flavor. So basically I've just heated up everything, all the lamb and everything. So at the restaurant, I normally use 250 mils of base gravy. So I'm just gonna eyeball it here. But good, because I've got about two portions, so I'm going to add a fair bit of base gravy. Beautiful. There you go. Give it a nice little mix. Put it on a high heat and let this simmer away until you see the oil separate. 
Simple as that. So simple, anybody can cook if you follow my recipes and you'll definitely be blown away from the flavor, I promise. Right, the curry is looking absolutely gorgeous. All that oil has come to the top, so it's separated. And this is a proper buna curry. So in Bengali, we call it when it's a khoshal. So the lamb has been cooked and cooked and cooked to a fantastic little flavor. And all that gravy has absorbed the flavors of the lamb. And we use that mango pickle, the achar. So all the flavors just come out. Look at that thick sauce. This is a thick custard. So could you imagine when you're eating that, you're going to have to cook this amazing dish and like the video. Oh, wow. If you can just smell this and hear this. This is curry heaven. Right, I'm happy with that. Turn the gas off and I'm going to plate up. Really excited. Oh, look at that. Yummy. Every last drop. Gorgeous. Coriander. Voila. Fantastic dish. Oh, this is amazing. I can smell that salty kind of pickle, lovely flavors, and the lamb should be tender and soft because when we pre-cook the lamb, we cooked it for about one and a half hours, so it should be nice and soft. And when you've got that sour note to it, so what the pickle does, it just brings that sour, salty flavor to the curry. So if you haven't tried an achari before, this is something for you to try. And if you're cooking it at home, you're going to be blown away from the flavors. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous, I promise you. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to press the like button, share my content, appreciate it, and uh, put a little a comment on, and I love that interaction. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, press the bell icon to get brand new videos straight to you. And hopefully you will enjoy making these amazing dishes at home. So see you soon for the next one.